Well, good morning, everyone. I hope that uh, you are enjoying a great week so far and uh, that you are doing your very best to live for the Lord and make a difference. Uh, this morning, we're in Matthew chapter number six. We're going to continue in Matthew probably most of the week. Uh, Jesus is teaching the Sermon on the Mount, and, and it's really just one subject after another that is so important for us uh, if we really want to make a difference, if we really want Christ in our lives to count uh, for something. And, and uh, this morning, he's going to tell us how we can show people what we value uh, and what the greatest indicator of that is. And so uh, chapter number six, verse number 19 of Matthew, he says, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon the earth, where moth at, uh, and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. And uh, so he says uh, that, that most people think, oh, what I say uh, I love is what I love. But actually, what I focus all of my attention on, where my heart goes, that's what I actually love. And um, I'm just going to say this very bluntly this morning. Many people say they love the Lord, but really they love something else. And everyone can see it. Uh, they may never tell you they see it. They, because you might be just the nicest person on the planet, but they know that Jesus is not your number one because they know something else holds that spot. And the Bible tells us that whatever we treasure, whatever we are occupying our time with, uh, whatever we are spending our resources on, wherever we devote all of our talents, that's where our heart actually is. Uh, and so if we have very minimal uh, effort, time, energy, resources going towards the Lord's work, but we have all kinds of time. We'll even rearrange our work schedule, our days off, and everything to make sure these other things fit very well. That's probably where our heart is. Now, I can't make that judgment. I can only make an assessment by what I see. And God says, that what we oftentimes see is, is truly what's going on. And he says this, he goes on, he says, um, in verse number 22, the light of the body is the eye. If therefore the eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thy eye be evil, uh, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in you be darkness, how great is that darkness? And then he says this one last statement to really help us understand. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or or else uh, he will hate the one and despise, or hold the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon, mammon being any of the material things that this earth produces. And so you need to ask yourself, am I looking for the material things that come from this earth for my joy and my satisfaction in life? And when those things aren't present, uh, am I lost and, and without hope? Or am I anchored to the Lord and no matter what else is pulled away from me, I'm okay because I have the Lord. Uh, you have to ask yourself where your heart is. You need to look at the treasure that you treasure. What is your most important thing that you live for? If it isn't Jesus, then it's actually a path towards darkness. It's an, it's an eye that's not single. It's an eye that wanders. And so I want to encourage you today. Do you have a wandering eye? If you do, fix your eyes fully on the Lord. Is your eye on the Lord? Keep it there. Listen, where our, where our treasure is, that's where our heart is. And so you got to ask yourself, what is it that I treasure most? If it's anything but the Lord, then my heart is not fixed on the Lord. I hope that helps you navigate today in a better way. Have a great day.